Welcome back, I'm Angela from Angela Marie Made, and today I am sharing eight DIY Christmas projects. Before we get into each of the eight projects, I do want to mention that I have a full step-by-step -step tutorial for each of these projects linked below this video in the description box. For most of them, I have a full YouTube video tutorial as well as a step-by-step -step tutorial on my blog. All right, let's get started. Number one is a DIY wood Christmas tree mason jar sconce. These cute little wooden trees are perfect for rustic holiday decor or as a budget-friendly homemade gift idea. It costs me less than $10 to make two of them. You start with a 1x4 wood board and cut three angled boards to size. Each board is shorter than the next. Then cut the base of the tree with a zero degree angle cut. Use wood glue to attach the boards together and let it dry. Then attach the baseboard with wood glue and brad nails. Finish the tree off with wood stain or paint and add your mason jar with a candle or a flameless candle or some kind of decor. I love that these trees can be used as wall sconces or a table sconce. You can even place something else on them instead of a candle in a jar, such as a little vase with some festive flowers or greenery and berries. Number two are bigger DIY wooden Christmas trees. These trees are a larger version of the mini wooden tree sconces. These larger wooden Christmas trees are great for using outdoors, like on your front porch. They are made the exact same way as the smaller trees, except with a two by six board instead. I made two different sized trees from just two two by sixes at eight feet that cost me just $16 total at my local home improvement store. They are a great way to display holiday decor too, like a glass lantern with holiday berries and a flameless candle. You could also do a lantern or jar with pine cones or Christmas ornaments. I also added some twinkle string lights along the side of our shorter DIY wooden Christmas tree, just using some tacks for a fun festive look. Number three is a DIY wooden tree collar. I was inspired by old vintage style crates for the design of our wooden Christmas tree collar. So I used a mix of different sizes of lumber on the sides of the tree collar to create this look. For this project, you only need two tools, a miter saw and a drill. It's a super easy project. I started with a one by four for the bottom board for one side of the stand and I cut the ends with a five degree angle cut. Next, I used a one by six for the middle board. To get the measurement needed for it, I lined it up with the bottom of the one by four board and I measured and marked where I needed to cut. And then I cut the board again using five degree miter cuts. I repeated this process again for the final top one by four board to finish off the cuts for the first side of the tree collar. Next, I created a second side where the bottom board was a one by six board and then the top and middle boards were two one by four boards. I repeated the same measurement and angle cutting process as the first side. Once I had my two different style sides cut, I just repeated all of these steps again to create the other two sides for the tree collar. Before assembling the stands, I found it easiest to stain and apply polyurethane for my top coat. To assemble the tree collar, I began with the boards clamped together with all of the edges lined up, and we used popsicle sticks in between each board to create a small gap. Then I used screws through two by two boards into each of the three boards. Finally, I lined up two different style sides and attach them together with the screws to finish assembling the tree collar. This was such a fun project that added a rustic touch to our Christmas tree and it's a really nice alternative to a traditional Christmas tree skirt. Number four is a DIY wooden advent calendar. I wanted to make a classic and pretty advent calendar that would last for years to come 
And that's what inspired my design and the materials that I used for this wooden advent calendar. For the wood, I chose cedar because I love the look of it and it's a more lightweight wood which works best for hanging things on a wall. I started by cutting all of my wood to size. Then I attached one by twos together to form the frames of the advent calendar cubbies. I marked where the one by twos needed to go with the boards having a three and a half inch spacing gap. And then I used wood glue and brad nails to attach everything together. I repeated this process for the other four cubby shelves. Next, I cut one by fours to size for the cubby shelf front. At this point, I stained the cubbies and then I primed and painted the plywood board and square dowels for the back of the advent calendar. To start assembling the advent calendar, I used wood glue and nails to frame out the plywood backing board with square dowels. To finish the build, again I used wood glue and then self-tapping screws countersunk to attach the 1x2 shelves in place on the plywood backing board. Finally, the 1x4 cubby shelf fronts were nailed to the shelves with wood glue. For the numbers and to complete my vision for this advent calendar, we made DIY clay ornaments using polymer clay and a Christmas tree cookie cutter. We stamped the clay with rubber number stamps and made a hole at the top with the round end of a kebab stick. After baking the clay ornaments, we painted the numbers with gold acrylic paint. The ornaments were secured in place to the advent calendar with brass plated nails and a hammer. I absolutely love how this DIY wooden advent calendar turned out. It's so whimsical and beautiful and we love using it every year for Christmas. Number five is a DIY painted green accent wall. If you're thinking of doing an accent wall in your home, why not paint it green? Green is such a beautiful color for year round. It's really calming and beautiful, but it's also perfect for Christmas time. It makes the perfect backdrop for Christmas decor. I have used a lot of green paint in my home over the years. This past year, we painted a green accent wall in my four-year-old's room. We used the color Millstone Gray by Benjamin Moore, which is a dark gray green. To paint an accent wall, you just start by cutting in the wall with a paintbrush, and then you finish it off by rolling it with a paint roller. We also painted my 18 month old DIY board and batten accent wall. We used the paint color Evergreen Fog by Sherwin Williams. I love how these two green accent walls look. It's been extra fun decorating with a Christmas tree in front of these two green accent walls. It's so festive and cozy. This is just a super easy and quick project that can be for year round and double as Christmas decor. Number six is a DIY wood Christmas sign. Wooden Christmas signs are super cute and their rustic vibes are perfect for cozy Christmas decor. I used my Silhouette Cameo to make a vinyl stencil for this wooden sign, but you can also use a Cricut. And I have a free SVG file and a JPEG file of the design below so that you can make the exact same sign too. I created this design using my hand lettering. You can get the free download on the tutorial page on my blog for this project, which I will link below this video in the description box. To make the sign, I used half inch thick plywood cut to size and painted it Essex Green by Benjamin Moore. It's the perfect Christmas green color. And I only needed a sample size pot. I didn't have to buy a, a full quarter gallon. Once the paint dried, I applied the vinyl stencil to the side and used white paint for the lettering. Then, after the lettering paint dried, I removed the vinyl stencil and painter's tape I had on the sign. To frame the sign out, I stained one by twos cut to size and attached them with wood glue and brad nails. 
I just love our DIY Christmas sign. I think it turned out gorgeous. It's another great project that I love to get out every year and decorate with. Number seven is a DIY Christmas wreath. This is a more recent Christmas project and it's super easy and lovely. You just start with a artificial or faux Christmas wreath. The one I used has a timer and lights, which I love. Then I mixed in real Christmas greenery to make the wreath look real. I used a mix of eucalyptus and boxwood, which both dry really nice, but you could use other types of pine or berries or pine cones. There's really so many beautiful different natural elements that you can use. I attached the greenery with floral wire and by tucking it into the light strand that came with the wreath. Finally, I added a brown satin ribbon bow and jingle bells. To hang it, I just used a command hook for the wreath and a nail for the bells. It's a really simple and festive touch for your front door this time of year, and I love how it has a minimalist style to it as well. Number eight is No Sew Christmas Stockings. These No Sew Stockings were one of my first DIY Christmas projects many years ago when we didn't have any other stockings yet and I didn't want to spend a lot of money on stockings. They're super easy and cheap to make. I don't know how to sew very well, so I bought cheap plain burlap stockings and some red ticking fabric. I attached the fabric to the stocking by pinning it in place and applying hemming tape with an iron. Then I bought some unfinished wood tags from the craft store and stained them and added our names to them with white vinyl. I hung the stockings and tags from our DIY haul tree since we didn't have a fireplace at the time. Again, this is just a really fun and cute, easy Christmas project. Well, I hope you enjoyed this Christmas project roundup. Do you have a favorite project out of them? I know I have a couple that are my favorites. Make sure to subscribe and follow along. Thank you so much for watching.